Hi, I'm Lou, and today I'm going to show you how to build your own foosball practice plate. First of all, let's take a look at how it's installed. You just simply tip up your goalie man, put it in that little hole, push down, and then slide it into place. Basically what this does is leaves the corners open and forces you to shoot into these spots. Here, for example, is a pull shot. Here's a push shot. Here's a snake to the near side. Here's a snake to the far side. Far side pull. Here's a near side push. Here's a push kick. And here's a pull kick. The holes are also wide enough to handle angle shots. Now let's take a look how to make this thing. First we start with 3 8 inch plywood and with a hand saw or a table saw you want to cut this to it's four and a quarter inches tall. Next we cut that board to 11 inches long. Next the center of these holes are going to be at two and a half inches from the side on each side and an inch and an eighth up from the bottom. I always like to pre-punch my holes so the drill won't wander. Next, we're going to cut out the holes with the two inch hole saw. I like to drill from both sides so I don't get the board blown out on one side. Next, I'm using a band saw to cut the bottom parts of the holes straight. Next, a spindle sander will help us clean up the rough edges. Next, a belt sander helps clean up the board and smooth it out. Lastly, we need to make this little hole here. And that's three inches up from the bottom of the plate and roughly in the center which is five and a half and you want you know a hole something like that. Notice this hole is not all the way through it's about an eighth of an inch thick in there at the bottom and the way I achieved that was with a router bit and I put it in a drill press so it's easier to see for the camera and you just route out an area Now that it's done, simply lift up your goalie, lock them in the toe hole, shove it down, and you're ready to practice. Thanks for watching and good luck making your foosball practice plate. If you don't have the tools or don't want to take the time to make your own, you can go to foostrain.com and get one for less than 10 bucks.